Hello Charles, it's Thursday. What do you want to do? <laughs> what time is it? It's about 11 o'clock. Charles has had his nap. We went to town this morning. We did a little bit around the shops, didn't we? We got you some stuff for lunch. And you had a little snooze. And you can jump off the sofa. What should we do then? Should we go out for a walk? Doesn't look like too bad a day, does it? You could pop out. I've made your sandwich for later already. You gonna whistle? <laughs> Right, as we were saying, it's uh, Thursday. Charles is now up from his nap, chasing his Christmas ball ball across the floor. Um, Eloise is at Brixton today for work, so she got the train up this morning. Um, I don't know if she's popping home at lunch, so we'll see. And the weather, not too shabby, so I think me and Charles are going to pop out now before he has his lunch. Um, loves himself a cheese sandwich, got himself his grated cheese sandwich, a bit of banana and some blueberries, and um, then I don't even know what we're doing for dinner, but nothing worked out. Because Eloise was off yesterday, she had a day off work, and we didn't have Charles. Um, we didn't really plan anything for today. We just kind of chilled, watching telly, went out for lunch, and just had a nice day. So today, I have no idea what's going on. So I did remember it was bin day, so I got up nice and early and took the rubbish out. But apart from that, I'm behind schedule. <laughs> Alright, Charles is just showing me now knows how to open the cupboard because he got the softener out. Do you think that's funny? Well, I don't think it's funny. He's very dangerous. So what we've got to do, Charles, we go out and get some locks. So we're going to go and get some locks. So Charles can't open the cupboard doors, so we're going to go and get those and get those fitted today. It's the first time he's opened any, so... Obviously we've got to do that, make sure we keep it safe. Eloise has just rung as well. She's on her way back to Brixton, uh, just getting on the train. So then she's got to get back here, so she'll be about an hour and a half. So I'm going to pick sandwiches up for mummy, because she's not going to have much time. So she's got to grab her car before going back to work. So we're going to get ready, Charles, and then we're going to go out. So the little piglet is just polished off. <laughs> just polished off your cheese sandwich, haven't you, Charles? Five blueberries and a whole banana. Was it nice? There's nothing left, you've eaten it all. Mummy's on her way home now though, she's called. She shouldn't be too long. What are you doing, Charles? What are you doing? <laughs> He's just beginning to get the confidence to go underneath things. Can I help you, Charles? So Louise has come home for lunch. <laughs> Made her a nice roll. She's sitting there nice peacefully eating that, so I thought, oh, I'll go and get mine while Charles is entertaining himself. I've walked in with mine, and look at him, he's like a puppy. You're a good boy. Leave daddy's food alone, have I got to wait to eat Charles? I guess so, I'm going to put it over here. Hey Charles, I've got your cups. There we go. Is that for daddy? Thank you. Here we go. And we leave him there. Oh, you're so clever. There's the green one. There's the green oh. one. Can you cover it with the red one again? Oh. Well done. Yes. Shall we turn them up the other way? And what way round do they go that way? Oh, Yay. you are a clever boy. All right, 20 past three. Charles just going down for his nap, so I'm going to straighten up a little bit. Because we went out after lunch when Eloise came home, so me and Charles popped back out into town. Got some uh, plug socket guards and uh, some drawer safety catches and all that sort of stuff. Just because he's really getting around and um, he'll be walking anytime soon. And as soon as he does that, we're going to be in all sorts of trouble. So just trying to safeguard things as much as we can. Um, but I do need to tidy up because we've got so many little things lying around on the floor now from today with Charles. That it looks like a blooming booby trap thing from Home Alone or something. We've got bits everywhere. So I'm going to straighten this up and. Uh, He'll have his nap, he's got a new little pillow, we've got him a memory foam one. 
So he's gonna take that, doze off. Hopefully I'll get about an hour or so, so I can get him straight. I'm gonna sort out his lunch or his dinner, what we got today. I think he's got fish cakes and homemade sweet potato wedges. And then some carrot fingers as well, I'll sort it out. So, so he's eating pretty well today. Right, now it's nearly half past four. Just finished editing some stuff from Tuesday. So that's now gonna be uploaded a little bit later today. Charles is still having his nap in there. Just, just got some washing on. Got his fish cakes getting in the oven. What I'm not gonna be able to do is, I was doing him so I made uh, potato wedges, sweet potato wedges, but I've got my timings completely wrong where I got caught up editing that one. So he's gonna have potato waffles, which he loves. So he has a few of those. He's gonna have some carrots as well. So he's got a nice, what have we got? Leek and smoked haddock with a vintage cheddar fish cake. Carrot sticks, might bung a couple of peas on with it and uh, some potato waffles, but he does he really likes his potato waffles. Right, it's half past four and I think he's still asleep. But he does wake up a bit grumpy if you wake him. So we'll stand here quietly with the camera. I think I can see his eyes open here. Right. It's half past four and I've got to wake somebody up otherwise he's not going to want to sleep tonight. That's not a very pretty face Charles. He never wakes up that happy. Well I say if he never wakes up. He wakes up happy but if you wake him up he's always a bit grumpy. Oh, are you ignoring me? Come on, sleepyhead. Right, what we'll do is we'll turn this off and we'll cut to him looking a lot more happy. Charles, are you happier now? You got a drink? Yeah. Oh, look at that. I didn't think there was any left. I didn't know I ain't seen these in days. So we've still got a fish. Give me a little snail. It's the assassin snail. I thought they'd starved. I put a few in to get rid of a snail problem. And they did well, and I ain't seen any snails for a while, or the assassins. And I thought, the geezer in the fish shop said when they run out of food, they will just die, unfortunately, if they don't eat the algae and that. But he's obviously having a right little stroll around. Fish cake o'clock, baby! How's the fish cake going down, Charles? It's mummy's home, Charles. She'll take care of your nappy. <laughs> Why is that funny? Can you pee on me? What's he eating? Cough medicine. Does him good. <laughs> <laughs> Think I'll eat some though. <coughs> Mummy's spinning you around, Charles. Who does he? Ready? Steady. <laughs> Look at his rice. <laughs> Who does he? Is that fun? Put you down. <laughs> <laughs> right, Eloise has been gone and Charles is acting like Fruit Loop on the sofa before his bed. So I'm gonna try and catch him on camera. <laughs> what are you doing? Mental case. And that little guy laughing there kind of sums up the day.